In the upcoming lessons, we are going to use Bootstrap uh, to speed up our front end development work. So it's getbootstrap.com. Uh, this is the blog that we are going to recreate using Bootstrap. It has a few pages, it has read more sections, for example, has more details with a, a form to submit, it has about us, archive, contact us, and a login page. We are going to start with uh, the signing in page for now. So on the desktop, um, I have a folder called Bootstrap um, Blog. So you should create this uh, folder. I'm going to Sublime, uh, right click on the Bootstrap Blog, uh, create a new folder. And I call this folder Vendor. So this is where we'll download our Bootstrap into. So once we have that, I'm going to create a new file. I call this login.html. So this is um, our login in page. So now let's go into Bootstrap and let's download Bootstrap. So hit the download button and choose to download uh, Bootstrap. Okay. So this will uh, save into uh, your vendor folder. So once that's uh, downloaded and saved into the vendor folder, I'm going to open up uh, the vendor folder, double click on Bootstrap to unzip, and then I'll get rid of the, the zip file. I don't need this anymore. Okay, so let's go into our subline and view our Bootstrap. Uh, framework. So we have a CSS folder which has a, a bunch of CSS in it. We are focusing on just the bootstrap, the CSS and bootstrap minified. So the minified uh, bootstrap is written all in one line and the white spaces are deleted. So this is good for for speed. So we are going to use the minified version because uh, your computer reads, reads this a lot faster than it would the other one. So this is the bootstrap non-minified which we need so we can actually see um, what bootstrap has styled for us and how they've done it so we can learn. Okay so now we can go back into bootstrap, uh, go to basic template on the right side. Okay so we're going to copy this here so right click on copy and go into our login.html and then we paste here. So every time we write our bootstrap, this will be what we do. So let's get rid of this and then write login. Okay, so this is the whole idea behind our bootstrap to speed things up, uh, copy and paste. So let's double click uh, the login.html and we can see what we've done so far. Okay, so it's not quite ready yet. So if you right click, and click on inspect element and then click on console you will see that the two error messages uh, so bootstrap is trying to find our bootstrap minified which we haven't specified where it is so let's do that now so I'm going to say look in bootstrap 332 okay distribution and within that we have our CSS uh, folder okay so that's what we're saying here um, I've missed out uh, the vendor folder so up in the beginning so say vendor so we're saying go into vendor folder you find bootstrap folder go into CSS and the bootstrap minified okay so now that should work so we reset and we can see uh, we have just one error left which is bootstrap JavaScript minified okay so down here, we want to do similar. So we'll copy what we have without the CSS folder and we can paste it here. And we can see that on the left side within the JS folder, we have bootstrap minified uh, JavaScript folder. Okay, so let's see if everything works. We can see the error messages are gone. Uh, Hello world has been styled uh, slightly for us. All right, so this, uh, we could get rid of uh, the hello world. So this is essentially what we use Bootstrap for. Uh, this is a starting phase and every page uh, we create, we use the same uh, template, basic template. So Bootstrap uh, under CSS, for example, gives us uh, a few HTML elements which you can expand on. Um, 
and Bootstrap has styled this, pre-styled it for us. So all we have to do is attach a class um, name to it, which we have in our CSS folder within Bootstrap, and it changes the appearance for us completely. So it helps uh, speed things up. So we write very little CSS, and we rely on Bootstrap's um, initial styling for us. So this is where we'll stop uh, in this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson, and we'll start building uh, the blog. See you there.